Hey everyone, welcome to Soap Trend. We hope that everybody is doing well. We have some exclusive news to share with you all in today's video from our favorite TV series When Goes the Heart. In this video, we are going to have a complete review of When Goes the Heart Season 9 Episode 3, Turn Off the Pace. What is Lucas up to in this episode? Do watch this video till the end to know everything. Our favorite Elizabeth Thatcher celebrated a major career milestone in the latest episode of When Goes the Heart. But the response to her debut novel wasn't exactly what she had expected, as seen in the third episode of the Hallmark Channel series. Plus, Wyman Walden returns to Hope Valley and Nathan asks a favor of Miss Wu. Elizabeth, the character portrayed by Erin Krakow's first novel, A Single Mother on the Frontier, has hit the shelves. Everyone in the Hope Valley is lining up to buy a copy of the book. But not everyone is thrilled with what they read. Several characters seem to be thinly veiled versions of Elizabeth's real-life friends and acquaintances. Nathan simply decides not to read it at all, which is probably wise with all of the things considered. Elizabeth can handle some people having trouble distinguishing fact from fiction, but harder to swallow are the harsh reviews from the critics. One dismisses her work as lacking depth and nuance, and says it only scratches the surface of anything meaningful or profound. The critical dropping has Elizabeth down in the dumps, but Lucas hopes the surprise party he has planned will cheer her up. He's apparently still having a little bit of trouble with that whole little moment thing from last week's episode. While Elizabeth initially wants to be alone, she is charmed by Lucas's sweet gesture. Even though he has to spoil the surprise to get her to attend, she does her best to fake being shocked. But it seems safe to say Elizabeth shouldn't trade the pain for the stays. The party cheers her up. But even more special is a thoughtful letter to Valley Voice that Rosemary shares with her. The writer says that Elizabeth's book helped her deal with the loss of her own husband. And on the other side of the story, Nathan is out of the infirmary following his accident. Despite Faith's advice that he should stay in bed, she convinces him not to ride out to see Ali, but she can't stop him from going to see his horse Newton, who is still spooked following the near miss with the car. Mesuo is the only person who can get close to Newton, but when Nathan goes to ask for her help, it doesn't go well. She tells him he needs to be patient, and he gets frustrated. Later, they patch everything up. Nathan admits that he was prickly because he fears the accident was all his fault. Nathan and Miss Wu seems to be going closer. That doesn't go unnoticed by Florence, who gently tries to warn him about jumping into a new romance so soon after having his heart broken by Elizabeth. But he insists he's not looking for a new courtship. Faith can also see that there might be something between the Mountie and the pharmacist, and she doesn't seem totally comfortable with it. It's possible that Faith is realizing she has feelings for Nathan. Or she could just be worried about her friend getting entangled with a woman who no one knows much about. And the main attraction of this episode is that a not so welcome face from when Coast Heart Season 8 returns in this episode. Wyman Walden is back in Hope Valley and is still determined to build his foundry, despite community opposition. Bill doesn't trust Walden, though he can't run him out of town, he can confiscate his gun. Meanwhile, newly elected Mayor Hickam argues that he should at least meet the businessman so that he knows what he is actually up to. Lucas has his own plans for dealing with the newcomer. When they first meet at the Queen of Hearts, Lucas hints he's interested in going into business with Walden, but the look on his face as Walden walks away suggests that's not all there is to it. That's confirmed when Elizabeth walks in on Lucas in the middle of a phone call. Speaking French, he tells someone named Janet that he needs more time to earn Walden's trust. Then after Elizabeth leaves, 
he raises his voice nearly shouting Walden's name and saying that he can stop him but he needs help. It seems he is running some kind of undercover or sabotage operation against Walden. But why is he keeping it away from Elizabeth? We will know the secret in the next episode of In Coast to Her. So this much for today's video. We hope you liked it. We will deliver more news of When Coast to Heart as it comes in. We will have all the burning When Coast to Heart spoilers, updates and news you are looking for. So visit us regularly. Thank you for checking this video out. We will see each other very soon with another video. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. If you have anything to say, do let us know in the comment section below. We'll make sure to reply to your comments.